Now we're just gonna take a break from me being on the camera and focus on my friends that are made 2018 and hear what they have to say. Also, I love these guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my life and you've been a big influence and I love the patience you've had with me this year. K Pasa Mufasa! Um, I went to India with them. <laughs> I met Mike at Rooted two years ago, and then I've known him ever since. I met Mike um, All Access Weekend. I think it was seventh it was. or sixth grade, oh, never mind. something like that. And Monster Mike's laugh. That's how our friendship was born. Well, I met Mike a few months ago at the Raleigh campus, um, and we were discussing like future videos we might want to make, and just getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. I met Mike the same way. I think um, through Zoe even and. Um, I think my first ever conversation with him was, you know, coming up with ideas for a video and stuff. I know Mike since uh, 2016, uh, the February 2016. We met at a party at um, one of his good friends that I know that was my classmate in high school, and she introduced me to him, and uh, yeah, we've been friends since then. I have known Mike here for years now, actually. Um, when I started going to Hope Community Church here, um, I was offered a volunteer position at this thing called Kids City Live, doing singing and leading worship. And Mike was actually the main character of the show of, of Kids City Live, Mike and the Sheep. I met Michael at our first um, meeting for India, our mission trip, and I love how the first idea that we came up for raising money was um, him dancing because you love to dance. Um, I met Mike through uh, Logan Selman. Um, she told me that he was a YouTuber, kind of like me, and that he liked video editing and video producing. And so we both had common interests and we started talking. Um, I knew Mike because I met him at homecoming. He's good friends with my friend Emily and I'm good, and I met him through her at homecoming, so that's how we met I met Mike through the Girls With You music video, which is on his YouTube channel. Go check it out in a minute. Um, but we really met through my friend Logan. I met Mike at Slogger Metro. I first met Mike um, at a church camp in summer 2017. He was uh, in this dance competition, which he absolutely killed. And he was just like by far like the nicest, sweetest, like funniest guy like I met like on the spot like I could already tell. Okay, I'll go. Um, my personal favorite video I think that you did this past year was the um, Girls Like You music video. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I thought the dancing, the choreography was amazing. Uh, you and Asia killed it. Yeah. Mike is a very creative person and he's super ambitious. I mean, Mike's a good editor. I like Mike's dance moves in his videos. He's a cool dancer. Gotta support our fellow dancers out there. Um, and I like watching his videos. They're entertaining. The one thing that I love about Mike is that he's pretty driven about like, you know, doing what he has to do for, you know, what he loves. Uh, for the camera or like, you know, his creativity and anything else. And I don't think there's anything that I would not like about him. Whenever Mike does his work, he does a great job. And he always has so much passion behind it. And I feel like whoever watches his videos can definitely tell. No matter how goofy or how serious, there's still the passion behind it. I thought, um, from what I saw, I thought you really upped your game um, when it comes to production quality. I don't know, the, your edits just seem smoother, I think. Um, because you do that so much, you're really, um, you're getting good practice and uh, your videos look great now. I love that Mike is um, super outgoing and he's just a great guy on and off camera. Uh, something I admire is his motivation to do what he wants to do and how no matter what gets in his way, uh, he continues to follow his dreams and to push himself to um, develop what he wants to create and um, further his um, goals. Um, I haven't known him very long, but for sure I just love how passionate he is about what he's doing. He, I love how he always tries to like incorporate other people and he's like, oh, do you want to help with this? Do you want to help with that? Like, it's like, he always like tries to bring people together and I think that's really nice. But I, think it's really nice. I love Mike's sense of humor. He's 
hilarious and he's so supportive and he's just He's really just such a great friend. I can tell how passionate you are about it. That's one thing I really like about you is um, you're very passionate about what you do and what you plan to do in the future. And you work really hard when it comes to filming and to um, just succeeding in your dreams. Just be yourself, do what you gotta do, and just follow your dream, man. Because honestly, Nobody in this life has more dreams than ever, but um, we always have certain accomplishments, achievements, this, that, and uh, just do your thing, man. To never stop believing in things, in people, and to never like stop chasing after things. Like, don't give up because if like you think it's getting hard, you don't really know because there could be like an easy slope coming soon. So you gotta keep fighting and trying. And yeah, for 2019, I hope stops worrying so much and um, realizes just like how great he is and that he can do it. Just keep doing what you're doing honestly. Don't let anybody get in the way of what you want to do. If this is what you're wanting to do, if you want to do film, if you want to dance, keep at it honestly. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. My advice isn't to really do anything new. Um, I think it, when it comes to your craft, my filmmaking, what you have to do is be consistent. So, um, don't stop, don't give up. Um, if you keep posting videos, they can only get better. And uh, I think you've got a lot of potential. And um, you know, I'm sure uh, not, only, not only when it comes to, to the quality of your videos, but the creativity of your ideas. I think um, the more videos you make, uh, the more you'll have to branch out when it comes to, you know, comedic styles and uh, all things like that. So I'm just excited to see how you grow and the new things you do in 2019. Keep it fresh for us. I would say to continue reaching your goals and to start not pushing yourself, but, um, you know, start trying to get out of your comfort zone, um, developing new ideas and continuing to do doing what he's doing um, as well as just be himself and don't worry about being himself. Um, and one piece of advice that I have for you for 2019 is to just keep going no matter what roadblocks. Um, if you can make it to India and back and you can make all the amazing videos that you've made so far in your life, I know that you're going to do amazing things as you continue to go throughout your life. Love you, Michael. Um. I agree with everything you just said. That Thanks. was awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Um, but I I think uh, the people want to see more like skits on YouTube. Um, and I know that you've been talking. You don't know if you really want to continue in the path of this uh, art that you've been working on. But Mons, you have a gift, and my advice to you is that uh, you should use it because you make a lot of people smile every day. And I think if you keep doing that, that's. That's what this life's all about, right? Yeah. Making people happy. So 